Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we will focus on the relational algebra fundamental operation, the second operation, which is the project operation. And we know basically there are six fundamental operations in relational algebra. Number one, the select. Number two, project. Three, union. Four, set difference. Five, Cartesian product. And the sixth one is rename. And we are now going to focus on the second relational algebra operation, the project. Let's see the theoretical basics about the project fundamental operation. And basically, we need to understand the difference between select and project. Select selects all the tuples. Then what about project? Project selects all the values, but certain attributes or columns left out. Say, if you want all attributes, go for select. If you want selected attributes, then go for project. No worries, when we see an example, it will be easy for you to understand. So the operation of project is it's going to return its argument relation with certain attributes left out. Say for example, if we are having five columns or five attributes and the output that you want only two attributes instead of five attributes, then we can go for project. If you go for select operation, you will get all five attributes. But if our requirement is only selected attributes, then we can go for this project operation because this project operation is going to return the argument relation with certain attributes left out. And what type of operator is this? Is it a unary operator or a binary operator? Like select operator, project is also a unary operator where it's going to take only one relation as an input. So it's going to take one relation as an input and it produces the output relation where the output relation is going to be having certain attributes left out based on our requirement. And select operator is denoted by the lower case Greek letter sigma. And what about project? Project is denoted by the upper case Greek letter pi. And this is the upper case Greek letter pi and this pi represents project. Remember the shortcut? Sigma starts with s. Yes. Select starts with s. Yes. So select means sigma. Likewise, Pi starts with P and project starts with P. So the shortcut is Pi is used for denoting the project operation. We know basically a relation is a set. And that is why whatever the concept we see in the mathematical concept, the set, that is also applicable for relations because basically a relation is a set. In other words, I would also refer any relation is a set. And what's the output of this project? The output is going to be the relation with certain attributes left out. What about the duplicate values? Basically, when we have the duplicate values, in the result, the duplicate values or duplicate rows are eliminated. Remember, if we are getting two rows with the same value in the output, only one will be listed and the duplicate value will not be displayed in the result. And that's one of the important features about project. Say, for example, if we are retrieving instructor name and instructor salary, if there are two John with the same salary, and we will be getting only one John's information and the other John's information will be discarded because it is a duplicate value and project actually will not display the duplicate rows. Let's see the syntax now. The syntax is, as mentioned, this is the uppercase Greek letter pi which is used to denote the project operation. In the subscript, we are going to retrieve only attributes. If we have 10 attributes in a relation and we are going to retrieve only 5 attributes, just list what all the 5 attributes we require attribute 1, comma, attribute 2, comma, up to all the attributes that we require. From where? From the relation. So the syntax is project in the subscript, give the names of the attribute that we require and then give the relation name here. When we see an example, then it will be easy for us to understand. Let's take the same instructor table which we have seen for the select operation with the same attributes and the same values. Example number 1. List all instructor's ID, name and salary, but do not care about the department name. So what do you mean by this? Though we have four attributes in the instructor relation, the ID, name, department name and salary, we are required to retrieve all instructor's ID, name and salary and we don't want what attribute? The department name from the output table or in the result table. And if you are sure about the syntax, then writing the query is easy. The relational algebra expression is project. What all the attributes we want to project? Only ID because that is required. Then name which is also required. And then the last one is salary which is also required. So we are going to retrieve only ID, name and salary which is ID, 
name and salary from which relation the instructor relation there is no condition we will be getting the information about all the instructors but with only one attribute left out what is the attribute the department name so the output is going to be all the attributes except only one column what is that column the department name so the output is going to be id name and salary with no department name and if you note here what is the table name of this output there will be no table name no worries when we see the last fundamental operation the rename at the time i will explain more about this table name for now just understand the output is going to be certain attributes left out because we are talking about project let's see one more example then it will be easy for you to understand for this example also i am going to take the same instructor relation but with a different question and the question is find the name of all instructors in the computer science department what do you mean by this we are going to list only the name of all instructors in the previous case we listed three attributes but here we are going to list only name of all instructors but there is a condition mentioned the condition is the instructor must be belonging to what department computer science department so in the department name attribute we have two entries computer science for robin and computer science for pratik so we want to list the names of all instructors who are working for computer science department only but still we don't want all columns id name department name and salary if that's the case then it will be select but here what we want project right name but in project we can't give the condition so how to handle this first we need to select all the tuples that are matching the condition department name is equal to computer science so for this we need select and after select gives the resultant table from that output we need to retrieve only names no worry see the output you will be able to understand the solution is actually the first query to be executed is we want to select all the tuples from which relation instructor relation which is matching the condition department name is equal to computer science so what are the tuples we will be getting here so the tuples will be 12121 robin computer science 90000 and 76985 pratik computer science 89000 so this portion i mean this inner query will be giving two tuples and from these two tuples we are going to retrieve only name so what are all the names we will be getting robin and pratik so if you see the output the output is going to be only robin and pratik because we want the names of all instructors in the computer science department if you still need more clarity don't worry about this now anyway in the coming lectures we are going to see more examples then understanding select and project will become so easy and that's it for the day what we have seen we have seen about the project fundamental operation in this presentation and in the next presentation we will focus on the union fundamental operation in relational algebra I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching